radio It beats for you so listen close Go back to like 8th grade, right? Jeez <laughs> Okay, we are both here yet again Good morning, welcome to the Rose News Network Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2016 Congratulations to two talented Woodbury High School artists for being winners in an artistic discovery in the 2016 Congressional Art Competition. Jenna Pentecost photograph won second place and will be on display for a year in the 4th Congressional Washington, D.C. office. Elise Salas' drawing won third place and her work will be on display for a year in Betty McCollum's St. Paul office. This contest was open to all public and private high school students who live in the 4th Congressional District. The Woodbury High School Art Department is very proud to have two of the three award-winning students selected for this honor. Congratulations. Yearbook distribution will take place on June 3rd. Seniors will pick up their yearbooks and after graduation practice, and the remainder of the school will get them at lunch. We will have a modified schedule that day, and students will have the last 45 minutes of the day to sign each other's yearbooks. A complete list of students who have purchased a yearbook is in the cafeteria. If you are not on the list, you can reserve one of the 75 extras by bringing in $75 cash or check to Mr. Peters in the Media Center. Thank you. Would you, would you like to take on a leadership role in your school and make next school year the best year ever? Then you should apply for student council. Applications for new members are available outside Mr. Danke's class and Ms. Palajek's classrooms 112 and 210 respectively. Applications are due this Friday at 3.15. Key club member, NHS member, student council members who worked on the blood drives, check out the Red Cross Scholarship on Naviance. It is due tomorrow in the counseling office. And now we have Kim with the rest of the announcements. Uh, today's events, 3 p.m. girls golf match at home at Prestwick. 3.30 p.m. boys tennis match at home versus Forest Lake. 3.30 p.m. boys and girls true team track sections at Egan. 4.30 p.m. adapted softball at Bloomington Jefferson. And if the rain holds up, there's going to be a baseball game as well. The following student-athletes have attained Royal Elite status based on their positive attitude, commitment, and 100% dedication in following the Royal Sports Performance Program for the month of April. Brad Murphy and Austin Braun. Each student-athlete will receive Nike Sports Performance gear for their efforts. Congratulations. Both boys lacrosse teams won last night against Park High School. The JV won 4-2 while Varsity won 10-6. Their next game is Saturday at Egan. Thanks for tuning in and have a real day. If I was just another dusty record on the shelf, would you blow me off and play me like everybody else? If I asked you to scratch my back, 